Hello, Internet! <laughs> I'm Amara Smokerati, but you probably already know that if you're watching this, like, update vlog video, you probably already know my channel. Um, and welcome to a little catch-up video, I guess, or a reflection back on 2023. The weird year it was, for me, anyway, and the weird year it was for everybody else. Eh. But it's been a weird year, and I figured it was a good opportunity for me to sit down and catch up with you guys on this New Year's Eve. Um, I'm working when you're watching this, so I'm having fun, I assume. <laughs> My job isn't closed on New Year's New Eve or New Year's Day, so use that. Um, but it's been a very interesting year for me, and I actually kind of wanted to go over it with you guys and like verbally process, because I am actually fresh out of therapy as I was yesterday, um, there yesterday, and I was reflecting with my therapist, and I was like, I feel, I feel like a lot of people who are posting videos about 2023 right now are like, they want to stop and think about what they did, because they've been just moving on to the next thing, next thing, next thing, um, similar to, um, Ethan Nestor's video, like, which I watched, is like, he just felt like he was just kind of going through this year like crazy, because he wasn't stopping and appreciating things, and I felt like, I've been appreciating things, but I also haven't taken a lot of time to rest and to realize them. There's my dogs upstairs. They also agree, apparently. It's been a crazy year. Like, when I think about it, so much has happened. The The amount of things that have happened this year is probably more than has happened to me in, like, the past ten years, which is nuts. The first big thing I can think of is that in March of this year, or was it February? I think it was March. I got my GED. That my high school diploma, my technically high school diploma equivalent, I got it this year. And I, fit, I, I just felt so accomplished at that time because I wasn't sure if I had passed the final test. It did not tell me until I got the email saying, here is your diploma. <laughs> you can order it when you want to. And I was like, oh, I, I got it. Because there's a small delay, at least in the site I use for the GED test, where it, it waits to tell you it's under your score. So sometimes I have to wait 24 hours for it. So I wasn't sure if I'd actually gotten it, but I apparently I had, because I don't know if that was a glitch or it wasn't supposed to happen, but immediately it was like, here's your diploma, enjoy it, pay 20 bucks for it to be shipped to you, even though you already got it. I don't know. Um, but my god, that was already a big step for me. And I was like... Do I want to go to college? I think I want to go to college, but should I go to college? Do I think I'm good enough for college? I mean, I never had a great relationship with school. And so I was really, really hesitant. But talking to my parents, talking to my therapist, I was like, okay, let's try it. Let's do it. And so by doing that, I by, by filling out the forms and going for FAFSA and being like, okay, I want to go on a tour. My parents came with me for a tour of this college I'm going to. And I was like... Is this happening? Is this really happening? And I had to keep fighting against these voices in my head the entire time. Like, there was, I, I'm pretty confident now. I'm a lot better with my self-esteem as what I used to be. But I was just, like, fighting with these voices in my head that were like, you are not good enough. You do not belong here. You should turn around and run away because this is not going to, this place isn't going to welcome you. This is not for you. And I had to fight those voices until my very first day of class. And I got, I was the first one there. In most of my class days, I have been the first one to arrive at, in the classroom. And one of the things I do when I go to the classroom is I, I put on some music and I, I draw something on the um, board. And in my entire quarter of going to this class, this teacher has not erased any of my drawings. So every single week I would do a new one. Or almost every single I would have classes twice a week in that in that location. And every single day I would try to do a new one. And as it got closer to Christmas, I would do like the Grinch and, and the uh, peanuts and like all kinds of like Garfield. I didn't get pictures of these, but they were really, really cool to make and everyone loved them. And I it made me really happy. And it was just a fun thing to do. And my college experience was fantastic. I had my doubts. I was so scared of failing. Because when I was in school, in middle school, elementary school, I stu I struggled so much between my home life and my mental stuff not being diagnosed. I got C's, D's, I got A's occasionally in English and literature, but I didn't do great in other classes. 
this quarter, I graduated with straight A's in every single class. That is not something I ever thought I could do, but I wanted to. My stepmom, she got her um, degree in medical, medical registry, something like that. It's like med- medical things. Um, she is a registered nurse and she graduated with honors. She got straight A's and she has her honor course displayed in the living room. And I don't know what it is, but I just wanted that. I'm like, I want to prove to myself and to other people that I am smart. I can do this. I may not have graduated high school. I got my diploma, technically, got my GED, and now I'm going to get straight A's. And it's not even just to, like, approve it. It's like, I can do this, so I'm going to. I don't have to prove anything. I, but I'm going to do this. And that's why I want to do it, because I can. And it makes me feel good about myself, too. So that that's what really, what really cool happened this year. And in that quarter, I was working and going to school five days a week. And it was hard sometimes, but it was, it taught me a lot. And I started using Photoshop in my class. Thanks to Adobe giving student discounts, I can now use Photoshop for my thumbnails. You may have noticed a bit of a, like, um, improvement from my previous thumbnails to my new ones. That's because I'm using Photoshop now. I'm learning how to do those how to do it, how to use those programs. And it's really, really cool and really fun. And it's really worth trying out if you guys want to. So I don't know if I've said this in videos publicly or not, but I'm going to college um, for digital filmmaking. I'm getting my associates in digital filmmaking right now. And filmmaking is kind of what I want to do. And to be honest, it's thanks to YouTube and Twitch. I got into this wanting to make videos and have fun but I didn't realize that the path I was going down would take me to making movies, making TV shows, being involved in the process. I have fallen in love with creating videos, creating experiences. That's why I love making videos and streams. Things like that. I'm creating something people can experience. The final product is so amazing to me. When I'm done editing a video, I'll go through the certain parts I love and I'll be like, okay, can I improve that? Can I improve that? How can I improve that? I find myself watching movies and being like, well, it would have been a bit better if they had done this instead. This is a good comedic moment. That could have been better. Um, but I'm still loving things. Oh, that was so brilliant. That could have, that, that was amazing. That really was impactful. And I just really love creating these videos, these films. And I, I'm basically making movies in my three scary games videos. I try my best to do it. Of course, I'm a little limited in terms of production value and everything, but I do my best to make it a good experience for everybody watching. I try to be more creative each time. And this year, I feel like I really, really accomplished that. I slowed down video production, of course, when I was going to college, and this break has been very productive as well. I did 12 days of, days of games this year. 12 days back to back in a row of videos. Like, they're, they're kind of short, but they were videos of me playing games, and I posted one every single day, leading up to Christmas and on Christmas Day. I almost did more, but I didn't want to push myself too far. But I did that! I have never been able to do that before! And it made me really happy! And I was so happy to get it done! Because I did that! Everything this year, I did! I got my GED, I went to college, I took that leap that I was so scared to take! Because before, my experiences were really negative, and I was so scared. And I realized that even though I'm scared, I should still do it. Because I, I kept going through calculations. Part of how I feel good about things, like situations I'm scared about, is like going through the scenarios, like doing math and figuring out, can I afford to go to college? Can I afford to do this? What, how's my time going to be? How's my time going to be spent? And I did it. I worked part-time. But I still worked, and I also did all of my classes. I got straight A's in every single one of my classes. So far. This quarter, anyway. Next quarter is about to start. Next week, uh, or this week, I guess, if you're watching this on the, the eve, the New Year's Eve, I'll be going to college again for next quarter, which is fine. Whatever. But I did that. <clears throat> Shoot me. I did that. And I feel so good about it. I, I don't feel like I need to prove anything to anybody, but I still want to do things because cause I want to. I don't know if there's like a specific word or saying for that. I want to do things for the love of them. Not because I think I need to prove something, something to somebody else. But I'm still happy to show you guys what I do. 
and talk about it too. And we've experienced a lot of growth this year. Like if I pull up my stats um, on my channel, I think you guys can see this, but th just this month alone, I've got 10 subscribers. And let me see the last year, we've got 66, which is not that much granted. We are a small channel. I am, I am a small channel, but I still love doing what I do. I don't do this for money. I do this because I love it. And it's a nice gateway to learn. Learning how to use Premiere Pro, learning how to use Photoshop, learning how to make a storyline in a video. Those are all really important things. In fact, because of what I'm doing here, I know how to use Premiere Pro for my classes next quarter. Because I'm taking filmmaking and you have to use Premiere Pro. You gotta use a lot of Adobe pro programs in order to get stuff done. And it's because of my interest in these things that I already know what I'm doing, basically. Like my therapist said, I could probably get a job in my field already. But the degree gives me a ticket, the door, to be able to do things. And I am very proud to have accomplished what I did this year. Because sometimes I doubt myself. I'm getting a lot better about that right now. But I'm willing to do the work on myself to make sure that I feel loved. Not just by others, but by myself. That's what really matters, I feel like. The self-love. The doing what you love. Even if it was really hard to make time, I still try to edit videos and play some video games on my own and take care of myself. And that's really important too. In fact, I got a big zitty upstairs right now. I'm baking a little timer on my phone. Um, but I've also dipped my, dipped my toes into cooking more this year. I've made a bunch of different things for, um, for people at work. I'll bake on the weekends. I'll bring things to work for people to enjoy and they've been a hit. I made chocolate chip cookies. I've made pie. I've made handmade, uh, what else did I make? It's a lot of stuff. Uh, macaroni and cheese, pasta, all these things I just made handmade and people love them. I'm really proud about that. But it's so fun to like try things out, make things. I made a handmade lasagna. That was fun. Um, and just like baking fun things too. I made a wacky cake for the first time. That was a fun one. And it's, it's just really cool. This year was such a fun year. And I feel like I'm finally like starting to open up my cocoon and become the person I've always wanted and was meant to be. And it's it's take it's a process. It takes time. But I was willing to let myself take my time and work towards it in my own process, in my own time, my own way. And that's probably what you should do as well. I hope you are doing that. Because it it takes time to become who you're supposed to be. It takes time to be happy with things. It, I think it's different for everybody, but it's still, I'm still just really happy and I'm happy to celebrate this new year with you guys. And also, forgot to mention this, it's the five year anniversary of Wicked Oddity being a channel. Um, five years since I made it, since I abandoned that old channel. So screw that old channel. <laughs> Which I still have to suffer from because my stupid Steam name is still that channel and it, <laughs> and it won't let me change it. <laughs> Ah, uh, when I was young, my Minecraft account and my Steam account were the same name, and it was like Inky the Wolf Girl or something. And I so Steam lets me change the displayed name, but I still have to log in with the old name for some odd stupid reason. I don't know why Steam is dumb sometimes. Minecraft changed it. Well, Minecraft changed it, I think. Yeah, but Steam, why? I banned that channel for a reason. I want to relive it. Anywho, it's been fabulous creating with you guys this year. And expect our regular schedule program to come back very soon. Uh, I'm going to be continuing these series. The uh, Pack of Joy is going to keep going. Uh, the, new, the second Curse Minecraft came out like, yesterday, I think it was. And like the um, Friendly Neighborhood's over. Every, I think I don't think I have any other series to complete. I'm going to... Uh, oh, I have so many Crab Champion videos to put out. Uh, Mashi Monsters may continue. Garden of Man's coming out in a couple days if I finish editing it. Um, I did start recording a series on Starfield back when it first came out, actually. But because of, like, time and life, I wasn't able to edit it. I got two videos done, um, for it. That was back in September when I recorded that. So I will probably will post that. I don't know if I'll keep playing it. Because I have been spoiled for part of the story. It's a whole 
rant I'll save for later, but it not it hasn't captured my attention the way other games have. But may still play it. I don't know. I like the character I made for it, but anywho, um, I just I had a great year, and thank you guys so much for growing with me and staying with me through this year. I know it's been rocky because of my my publishing schedule, my publishing schedule like bleh, because of school and everything. But I have tried to stay at least somewhat consistent. I try to post at least twice a month with my school stuff, but it's hard. <laughs> it really is because when I'm home, I either need to eat, sleep, shower, stuff like that. And then I have to like work on essays or work on assignments and it's a whole thing. But I, I still hope you guys are enjoying the videos and just like appreciate the channel being around and maybe spreading some positivity into your life. That's all I hope to be in your lives. It's a little tiny place you can come and hang out in the corner with me and have a good time watching me either enjoy the game or want to die while playing it. <laughs> and I I guess that's that's all I wanted to say. This year was a lot for me. And I just wanted to reflect on it and celebrate with you guys. I did this! I did all these things! And I didn't think I could. And I'm really proud of it. And I'm really proud of whatever you guys accomplished too this year. No matter how little you think it was, you're on your journey. And no matter how big or little the obstacles you went by this year were, they still mattered. There's still something. Start small and go from there. You don't start in a little, you don't start as a giant hole in hole, hole.io. You start as a tiny one eating tiny things, you know? And then you slowly get bigger. Usually slower than I want to because I want to eat the whole building. But that's not how it works. <laughs> you got to go slow. Work towards it. Like my stepmom was always telling me, you got to work towards it very slowly to get to your dream. But I think we're all a bit impatient. It's part of being human. But just be gentle with yourself. You know? You're on your journey. You're on your way. You're a little cocoon right now. You got to start making little cracks for you. Break open. Because um, you're goop. I don't know how that works. I think caterpillars become goop, right? <laughs> I don't know. It's a whole tangent of another time, but I guess that's all from me. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, watching my videos, subscribing if you have. I really appreciate you being with me. And I just can't thank you enough for your support this year. It's meant a lot. And it, it really is like motivational when I see people enjoying my videos and being like, hey, I liked it. Or, hey, here's a suggestion. I see you, Ricky. I see you. What other people? Um, Tahir, Axo, um, Oliver, I like all of you guys, I see your comments and I really appreciate them. Um, Edward Young, I really appreciate you. You're Cole's Lily. Cole's Lily? Cole Silly. Sorry. I see all of you here and I appreciate every single one of your comments. And I just love that you're here with me and you're experiencing all this with me. That's what makes it worthwhile. And yeah, I guess it's all for me. So I love you guys so much. And I really hope to see you guys next time in my next videos. But if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. <laughs> and have a great new year.